Hi, and welcome to the 64 doors. Today, we're going to open door 37. This is the archetype of the mother, and it also has a lot of Christ energy. So an incredible strength and an incredible tenderness. When we look at it in the body graph, we're going to see that it's the cross of planning. So right now we have the sun in Pisces in gate 37, we have the earth in Virgo in gate 40, and the design part of the cross is nine and 16. So this forms the cross of planning, and it is about how to create communities that work and to create those deals and those bargains that make up the structure of the community. And when we look at it in, in the in the integral human design we can see that the lower level of a community is that bargaining is that thing to come together out of fear of not having enough okay i have this and you have this and together we'll make it work so it's this this bargaining like bar or bartering or bargaining like i have this you have this and it's it's out of fear, it's out of not having enough that we come together. And it's also this kind of emotional feeling or like an unfairness if the bargaining is not, is not fair, if we don't receive what we give out. The higher frequency is about com true community and it's about coming together in cooperation, coming together in synergy, in synthesis, in, in co-creation. Um, and I, I really love the quote that we have in the Jinky book that says, through the 37th gift, humanity will come to see that it is the family that makes all human beings equal. We will find a new vision of family, both locally and globally. We will in time extend this vision to encompass uh, the entire human family. I feel that's so beautiful because when we have looked at the 37 or at the female pole or polarity of family before, we have seen it as weak. We have seen it as really that part that is not as strong as the 40 that has to do with the solution, with the work, with going out in the world and, and, and finding those solu solutions. But what we see is that the feminine and the masculine poles, they need to come together in a family alchemy. That is the true way of the family coming together. Um, and we can look at it as well in the circuitry where, where these two are, are forming. Not only they are programming partners, they're also forming the channel uh, of community. So they are, we can see, if we go back, we can see that they, we have the, the um, connection between the emotional center and the ego. Uh, so they are forming this channel of community at the sign of a part seeking a whole. And in the 37, we see all these beautiful feminine qualities that don't have to do with gender. Like we say, Christ did have those uh, qualities. And it's about affection, it's about warmth, it's about hugging, it's about loyalty. So all these beautiful feminine qualities that aren't about weakness, but about tenderness. And when we marry them together with the resolve and the work and the going out in the world of the 40, it creates a really beautiful family alchemy. So actually, what I think is good to do this week is really to go into your own life and, and start to looking at your own family alchemy, whether you are in a family, whether you're maybe just having partnership that could be with one person or that could be even professional. So you can go back and see, you know, are your agreements with your partner clear? Uh, or do you need to have a conversation about what is fair, about things that might not be, that might be understood but not spoken about? Um, and you can also see if there's a part of yourself that you, that you have had a hard time to love, that you have been maybe judging as weak, and to instead try to see what is the inherent strength in that part. Because many times it's out of our vulnerability or out of our struggle and weakness, we're really the same thing as the shadow. We can open a door to something, and once we have realize that in ourselves we can also share with others and there can be a lot of healing and a lot of understanding so to go to those kind of uh, weak spots in ourselves and see what is the inherent strength in those parts and i also feel like it's a good week to see you know where in your life can you include more tenderness where in your life is there room for inviting a little bit more of this beautiful feminine energy 
So I'm wishing you all a really beautiful and tender week. Thank you.